cooler sunshine on Friday with high clouds and less wind. Good Thursday night, East Tennessee. David Aldrich, Captain Accurate here from the Captain Accurate Weather Command Center. Well, all is quiet on the Ultima Doppler radar presented by Madlock Tire Service and Auto Repair. We have a quiet scan, still have some wind advisories for the Smokies, and that will continue until 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. If you're driving through there, two hands on the steering wheel. Meanwhile, the snow reports just keep coming in in places like Nebraska, Iowa, Minnesota, and even Colorado. Heavy snows, about 10.3 inches fell here. This is a uh, Buffalo County. County, Nebraska. Uh, further to the west, they had uh, nine inches of snow around Kit Carson County, Colorado. So just take your pick. Winter is still very active. It's just not here. But could we see a chunk of that, a slice of that, a piece of that energy work its way here in the coming days? The answer is yes. Stay with me. Peak wind gust today hit 44 miles per hour at 336 this afternoon. I was very clear this morning during my Facebook Live that we would see our top wind speeds in Knoxville between 2 and 5 p.m., even though it was pretty breezy this morning. Crossville hit 39. La Follette had a 37 mile an hour gust, and we had one about 35 in Oak Ridge, uh, 39 in Sevierville, 38 Madisonville, Athens 37, Morristown came in at 35 miles per hour. We'll take a look at the Almanac, our high was 67. That was my initial expectation, but then I bumped it up to 69 this morning, and that's where Oak Ridge was, 69. But I did mention 336 was when that peak wind gust occurred, normal high 48. Uh, we picked up 15 hundredths of an inch earlier this morning. Did you know they hit 70 in Athens? 69 in Oak Ridge, wow. And look at that, 70 in Sevierville. It was like, I don't know, Team Spring suddenly got a point today. Well, oh, can we flip it around? Can we get cold again? Absolutely, as we're starting to see some cooler air out west. Memphis only hit 57 today. Uh, that's a big drop from where they were in the previous days. Cooler sunshine, high clouds tomorrow. Bright sunshine, a few clouds on Saturday. So we got two nice days. Both days, highs around 50. And then clouds, mostly cloudy, if not all clouds on Sunday with some rain that could surprise you with some wet snow. We're going to look at that too, so stay with me. Meanwhile, the future cast shows not a whole lot going on tonight. The winds will slow down. If we see some flakes up in West Virginia, that's where it will be up in West Virginia. But then, when I hit midday tomorrow, there may be a few flakes in parts of southeastern and central Kentucky, not far from Lexington, maybe near Hazard, but it doesn't really make it here. It stays out of harm's way, but we want to watch what's going on to the south and west. Maybe not at 5 o'clock on Friday, but watch what happens as we move into Friday night. And we keep going. It disappears. Saturday. Okay, wait for it. The next system that's going to come up for the south shows it's getting organized by the time we get to Saturday night. Because here it comes. <gasps> the Calvary. Doo -doo -doo. It's a southern system. That's 2 o'clock in the morning on Sunday. Yes, but you said it's going to be mainly rain. Well, true. But what if it wraps around with some colder air? Oh, then it could change entirely. And depending on the track of this low, which is as fun and as delightful as tracking a marble on a dining room table. Oh, that's easy, right? No, it's not so easy. Not, especially if you have someone blowing up. It's moving around. That could move this uh, storm system and change the whole profile. That's interesting. By the way, if you haven't downloaded the Captain Accurate Weather app, I hope you'll do so today because it's free. You could attract the wind speeds throughout the day with Pete Michaels traffic. You get the traffic reports, the weather perfect together. It's free at the App Store at Google Play. Let me take you through Sunday, right? So you wake up Sunday morning, you might be headed to church and it may not be raining at seven or eight, but it will fill in. Ooh, there's the low. Ooh, it's a magical low because it's showing signs of moving into Alabama. Now where it goes from here, could play a big role in how cold it gets where we are. The inflection point is something we talk quite a bit about on the premium side, because depending on where that goes, if it heads right where it looks like it's going toward Gatlinburg uh, or even Knoxville, uh, there could be some wraparound moisture that turns snowy. I'm looking up toward Charleston. He said, well, there's blue up there, but I don't see any blue in East Tennessee, not at 5 p.m. Sunday, but maybe Maybe if it comes in early enough Sunday morning, there could be a few flakes. And then on the backside, ooh, looky, looky. Ooh, I see snow. No one else is talking about that for days. Uh, yours truly has, and especially on the premium side each and every afternoon. But look at that. I think that's an accumulating snow for southeastern Kentucky. I definitely think there could be some flakes, flakes by 4, 10 o'clock Sunday night. Oh, and what if that keeps on? What if it keeps on spinning? We'll have to wait and see. In fact, I want to just show you a future snowfall trend. I have done you the favor of not showing you any of the total amounts because it's irrelevant. Why? Because we don't know where this storm system is yet. But at least the trend looks like a horseshoe to me. 
But what if that horseshoe gets, you know, the, we fell asleep on that the day after Christmas, some of you. Some of you thought, we can't get snow the day after Christmas, and yet, and yet, Maryville had two inches. Hmm, interesting. And then what happened? What happened most recently? We had some snow in Sevierville. Maybe not down below, but I have a friend named Donna who lives at 1,900 feet in Sevierville. She had quite a bit. Elevation plays a big role. So if you look at this map, do you think it's going to snow in East Tennessee before the end of the weekend? I think so. Sunday night, Monday morning, it's going to be a surprise, surprise, surprise. Nobody else was talking about this. Well, they will be soon, if not tonight. Mostly clear to more clouds late. It will turn colder. Winds will slow down. 5 to 15 isn't exactly calm, but it's a lot better than what it was today. As we'll find lows about 36 degrees when you wake up tomorrow. 35 in Oak Ridge, 35 in Newport, 31 in Crossville. Tomorrow, that's Friday, we're headed toward a high of 50. It's cooler with less wind, 5 to 10. We'll start off with a southwest wind. But by the afternoon, that'll be a war of a westerly wind direction, 5 to 10 plus. Could gust a little higher than 10. But Friday, 48 for Morristown, 46 for Wartburg, looking for a high of La Follette, 47 degrees. That would also include Jacksboro and Caribou. About 50 for Madisonville, Teleco Plains, 52 for Athens, about 43 for Crossville, Fairfield Glade, and Crab Orchard. So here's your Captain Accurate Weather Authority forecast, 50 on Friday, 50 on Saturday. I won't even tell you the comments I've had since the last couple of days. You know you're the only one talking about snow. Or, hey, no one else is saying what you're saying. And I'm going to go, well, get my app. I mean, I, I don't look at what other people say and make decisions based on that. That's ridiculous. I come up independently with my own forecast. And if you know me for 12 years, 13 years I've been here, you know exactly I'm bold and I don't back down. If I show a number, I'm going to stick with it, right? And if you stick with the app, you'll get the information that I'm passing on to you. There will be some changes Monday morning if not Sunday night, for some wet snow. There's also a chance of doing this again, another system, on its heels, Tuesday night into Wednesday. And we may continue this on Thursday. And maybe, maybe keep going as we head into February. Anything's possible. Did you see all the snow out west? Did you just show that because you like snow? Partly, but because it may be, what's down there might be coming here. Anything's possible. Download it. Make sure, you, make sure you get the premium service. You get in the know. Because my premium members, they love the uh, extra attention they're getting because they're getting a lot in the, in the, uh, the content. The content. So make sure you download uh, the Captain Accurate Weather app. That's free. And you can find that at the App Store Google Play. Pete Michaels traffic is on there so you can get it 24-7. You don't have to wait for the radio station to play the latest Pete Michaels traffic. The latest Pete Michaels traffic is on the app. You just tap it and you'll hear it instantaneously. How cool is that? Just search Captain Accurate, the App Store, and Google Play. And I want to point out, too, the premium service is on my Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash Aldrich Weather. That's the main page where all the exclusive posts are posted, and you can see it if you subscribe. Just $4.99 a month. That's 16 cents a day. You can cancel anytime. You want to wait till the storm passes, then cancel? But by all means, I want you to get the information. You'll be the first to see my snow forecast. Well, I don't, I don't know where to go. There's the website. It's a secure site. It's HTTPS. Uh, it's Facebook.com slash Become Supporter slash Aldrich Weather. This uh, group is growing. Uh, I can't emphasize that enough, and we're doing quite a bit on there. Some of you are like, man, I wish I had known about this. Uh, I wish I had seen it. Maybe if I just sample it for a couple of days, then I say, wow, this is, this, this, is, this is addicting. I love weather. And if you do, you'll love the My Winter Weather Outlook, which came out around Halloween. You're also the first to see every forecast. What does that mean? My premium members typically see my seven-day either 30 minutes, uh, an hour, sometimes two hours before everybody else does. I don't even post it. I post it there first. Let them kind of uh, process it, and then I put it out to the public, uh, and then we go from there. But the first to see every forecast, part of the premium service, as well as being able to uh, participate in the Tennessee spotlights. We've done 11 of them. We've got number 12 on the books. We're going to be closing the poll tomorrow at 5 o'clock, so I can know exactly where I'm going next week. But Rocky Top, Lake City was my last spotlight, and I love doing this because it really puts uh, Tennessee in a good light. I love being able to see some things I had never seen before, uh, but you have to get in the car and drive, and that's what I do. Uh, and that's where the cost uh, comes into play. Anyway, my name is David Aldridge. Some people call me Captain Accurate. It's not easy being accurate. So weather doesn't surprise you. We'll see you here next time. Take care.